Prof, it's good to have your News 360. I know you've been following very keenly uh, this year's elections. Uh, what should candidates uh, be saying uh, with just two days ahead of the elections, or perhaps what should they be staying away from? I'm afraid, uh, Prof, you've got to uh, right, unmute sorry. yourself. Great. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for having me. I think that it is, it is very important uh, to stay on message. I mean, the essence of campaigning is to persuade people to vote for you. And obviously, you know, the political campaign messaging includes so many things. Uh, firstly, it's about your policy, because people want to see and want to hear what exactly you want to do for them. And so you have to stay almost entirely in your, you know, key messages that you think is actually driving your campaign. Clearly, the messaging themselves, you know, do not do the persuasion alone. Obviously, people want to understand your kind of uh, what you call characteristics, your key credible or credibility that could actually drive the message, i.e., are you actually trustworthy to actually implement? you know, what you have said. And that actually depends on your track record on some other characteristics that people want to hear and they want to, you know, uh, they want to see you demonstrated. So you want to keep within this, this uh, these kind of tenets. I think I would advise the candidate to actually eschew or to avoid anything that is very, very, you know, uh, emotional, emotive. You know, you don't want to, you know, touch on people's sensibilities and so you want to stay clear of any emotive issues. Uh, but of course, you have to be passionate about what you believe in and what can actually drive your message. So I think that political parties must stay on their message and they must eschew anything sensitive to people's, you know, uh, what you call identities, et cetera. Mm, you, you've essentially eschewed eschew uh, both political parties to stay away from uh, emotive matters, uh, matters that are, are likely to stir up uh, heated emotions in people. But what we've seen in the last few months is that both parties have, in a subtle way, decided to introduce the issue of religion into this year's elections because, you know, for the very first time, we have um, a, two presidential candidates on both sides, one a Muslim and another a Christian, and although these matters are very emotive, uh, you know, their supporters on the base have found a way of using it as a campaign message, although in a very subtle way. Of what importance is this to the outcome of our election this year? Well, of course, our political, you know, I mean, our election is full of, uh, you know, uh, social cultural issues. Uh, you have, you know, identity as a very key part of campaign messaging. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that. There are quite very innovative ways or creative ways that you could actually drive, you know, uh, identities in your political campaign. Uh, but of course, you want to eschew the other part that could actually drive people, you know, uh, to be very, you know, insensitive. You know, I mean, uh, uh, things that could be insensitive to, you know, people's identities, etc. So if you do not have that creative abilities to actually embed identity issues in the political messaging, you want to stay definitely you know, away from that. But of course, if you can find creative ways that would not touch on you know, people's you know, sensitivity, then of course, you could actually you know, do that. But I would recommend that you stay clear of those things, religious issues, tribal issues, ethnicity, etc. You don't want to go there. Professor Kobe Mensah, I've got to say a big thank you to you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on News 360.